How's your meeting? Good. I'll fill you in later. Are you ready for your speech? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Yuli. It is so inspiring to hear stories of powerful women who are held in high esteem by their hometowns. Now, from the hometown of Pawnee, Indiana, in the United States, Leslie Nope. Uh, first, let me say, it is a true honor to be here among these amazing women. You all inspire me with your accomplishments and the things you have done for your hometowns and the things your hometowns have done for you. I mean, they're just truly... You know, I've been a public servant for a long time, and you know how I spend my days cleaning slime out of rivers and removing slugs from people's front yards? And I love my town, but you know how they repay me? By hating me. They hate me. They want to recall me. I wish I could uh, move to Silkeborg and dance with a reindeer. You're always welcome in Silkeborg. Olga, let's start a statue of Leslie. See, they like me in Silkeborg more than my own hometown, and I've never even been there. I love Pawnee, but sometimes it sucks. The people can be very mean and ungrateful, and they cling to their fried dough, and they're big sodas, and then they get mad at me when their pants don't fit. You know, I, I'm sick of it. Pawnee is filled with a bunch of pee-pee heads. Thank you very much for this amazing award. I'm sorry I said pee-pee heads. <laughs> That's my boss. OK, let's fake this candle. OK, Tracy, they are ready for your acceptance speech in Three, two, one. Oh, people of Pacific Rim, how you feel? All right. I'd like to thank my wife, my two sons, Tracy Jr. and George Foreman, this Josh dude, <laughs> Liz Lemon, uh, bald-headed people setting up the satellite, and of course, a very special blonde lady. Shelly Long, you're truly an inspiration to me. I know that. <laughs> And finally, I'd like to thank you, Pacific Rimmers, for all that you've given us. A karaoke, karate, and most of all, Wadazami Ataku, Shark Attack. And this next award is going out to our own little Pam Beasley. I think we all know what award Pam is going to be getting this year. It is the Whitest Sneakers Award, because she always has the whitest tennis shoes on. because yes. I couldn't have done it without them. Thank you. Let's give Michael a round of applause for emceeing tonight because this is a lot harder than it looks. And also because of Dwight, too. Um, so finally, I want to thank God because God gave me this Dundee. And I feel God in this Chili's tonight. Every award, from the smallest trophy to the Nobel Prize, is nothing more than... is nothing more than a great way to honor someone. So I would like to present this year's Dottie English whatever award to the person who actually deserves it. Leslie Nope, come on up here, Leslie. Thank you. I don't know what to say. Um, honestly, I'm just very honored to work for someone as insightful and kind as my boss. So I would like to present this year's Dorothy Everton Smythe Award to Ron Swanson. I don't want it. Just, just take the damn You deserve thing. it. No, no, really. No, Ron, you deserve it. Really, but I don't want it. But you want it, you and should you should it. win it. And After was, that whole conversation. I'm being ridiculous. Just could someone please just take it? Okay, I'll take it. Who do I speak to about getting this changed? Get off the stage. Yeah. I still think awards are stupid. Right. But they'd be less stupid if they went to the right people. 